what's going on youtube welcome back to the channel uh today we are going to discuss special forces selection sfas we are going to cover what uh special forces selection is how it's broken down and also what you uh, a candidate is being assessed for Special Forces Selection, or SFAS, is a three-week course geared towards determining whether you, as a candidate, um, are suitable to attend the qualification course. I just want to make sure we're on the same page. Um, just because you attend selection and get selected doesn't make you a Green Beret or a soft operator. All it does is it earns you a spot into the qualification course. You still uh, have to uh, then show up to the Q course and perform for the next year or two uh, to uh, earn your Green Beret and also your Special Forces tab. Selection uh, consists of three separate phases. Phase one is um, admin week. Uh, there you are uh, performing a variety of admin tasks to include physical fitness tests, mental screenings, rock marches, and you'll receive a variety of classes uh, while you're there. Phase two is land nav week. Uh, there you'll receive a variety of uh, classes on land navigations. Uh, you'll receive basic land nav, advanced land nav. You'll also do a variety of uh, practical exercises. And then towards the end of week two, you'll take your STAR exam. Uh, phase three is team week, or as I like to call it, uh, mission impossible week, right? Um, there, you and your teammates will be given a variety of missions uh, that you guys have to accomplish, right? Um, now that we've covered uh, what selection is, how it's broken down, we'll go into uh, some of the traits that you will be uh, assessed for at selection. This is just my list that I've put together based on my uh, 19 plus years of experience. Um, this list is can definitely be um, bigger, right? But I know uh, when I was interviewing guys for my team, these were some of the things that I was looking for. Uh, for starters, I want someone that's disciplined. I want to know um, when I send that individual to a specific country, he's going to do the right thing uh, without me being there, right? I also want somebody that is mentally tough. I want to know uh, when we're out running and gunning and the situation gets rough that that guy isn't going to mentally quit on me, right? He's going to keep pushing through. Um, I also want somebody that's smart, that's physically fit, and that is flexible, right? Um, I also want a good leader, as well as a good follower. And this is what I mean by that. Um, I want to know when I put an individual in charge that he is going to lead to the best of his ability, right? He's going to give me 110%. I also want to make sure that that same individual who just crushed it as a leader is also going to follow whoever else I put in charge, right? So if I remove that good leader and put someone else in charge to lead a specific mission or a specific training, I wanna know that that same guy is also gonna follow just as good as he led, right? Because not all individuals could do the same, right? You have dudes that can just lead and always wanna be in charge, but as soon as you remove him from that task and make him a subordinate, he can't then follow and support the other guy in charge, right? I want to make sure whoever I choose is well-rounded. Um, and then when you go to selection, you'll experience the same thing, guys, doing team week. Uh, I hope this video was uh, helpful. Um, and I hope it motivates you to get a packet together and uh, selected and um, submitted uh, so you can get selected. All right. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.